Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 76. This video is part one of an engine rebuild. Here we have the 3.8 liter engine. It is the original engine from my Oldsmobile. Now there is an extra valve cover sitting here. The reason for this is this has the notch for the torque mount. I'll explain that in just a moment. Let's take a quick look around this engine before I start taking it apart. This is the Buick 3.8 liter V6 VIN 3 engine. It is actually the original engine out of the station wagon. I probably took this engine out about 15 years ago, maybe a little more. It was still running when I took it out, but it's getting new gaskets, seals, rings, and bearings. Also a set of new lifters, push rods, and a camshaft. As you can see, the fuel rail and fuel injectors are missing. I do have those. Now around back, the ignition coils and module are already loose. I can take those right off. Being that this is part one, the teardown phase, we're not doing a bolt for bolt teardown. I'm just going to show highlights and things that I think are important to see. When I reassemble the engine, that's where there's a lot of important information. I'm pulling the spark plug cables off, and each of them has a heat shield. Some cars will have a heat shield on the exhaust manifold. This car does not. It actually has a heat shield on the boot itself. So when you're replacing your spark plug wires, you want to make sure that you transfer these heat shields. Don't throw them away. This is the valve cover that was originally on the engine that is currently in the Oldsmobile. As you can see, it does not have the notch for the torque mount. That engine was originally in a Delta 88. We'll take a quick look under the hood of the Olds. Here's the torque mount. It's kind of hard to see, but there is the notch there, and that's in order for the bracket to fit in place properly. Anyway, let's get back to pulling this engine apart. So there's a lot that I'm going to be doing off camera here. I'm going to take this heat shield off and take the fuel lines off. And then I'll remove this coolant pipe. So I'm starting to take this apart. There's a bolt back here that's very tricky to get to. I'll see if I can get it with a light. That's the bolt. In order to get to that, I have to take this section of exhaust off. Let's hope it comes off. All right, the exhaust piece came off just fine. I also went ahead and removed both exhaust manifolds, and they came off just fine too. And both valve covers are off as well too. Now the push rods are missing from this engine because I took them out years ago. The engine that's in the Oldsmobile now actually had a time and chain failure and half of the push rods were bent. So I had to grab straight ones from this. I will be putting new ones in when I rebuild the engine. So the next thing I'm going to do is remove the intake manifold. With the coolant tubing out of the way, I've got a bracket to remove and then the rest of the manifold bolts. Once those are off, the intake should lift right off. A quick note to myself is on the side of the engine that's supposed to be at the front of the car, we've got bolt, stud, bolt, bolt, bolt. Oh, I think that's supposed to be a stud. On the back, from the timing chain cover, we've got stud, 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 bolt, bolt. 
All right, we got the intake manifold off, and we've taken off the intake gasket, and that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.